life, I lived in the shadow of history. My life was measured by the accomplishments of others. I was the daughter, then wife, of powerful men. My life was measured by their success and not my, by my own. And then I came to understand the inherent power in each of us and the opportunity for change that my life story could bring to daughters and wives when they can see themselves separate and apart and be able to stand and speak because their life has worth and their voices and their voices can count for justice, for mercy, and change in their lifetime. Let us be judged each as one. Let us break the shackles of the past. Let us live extraordinary lives measured not by where we came from, but where we're going. And let us step from the shadows of self-doubt. Each one of us has the power to change first our own lives and then the lives of others. For years I wandered in a life of indifference, always supporting but never leading, always learning but never teaching, always loving others but never loving myself, always believing in others but never in me, always in the crowd but never breaking away, believing that my life would be measured by the accomplishments of others, but never by my own. But today, I stand before you as myself. And I ask you to proclaim a victory for yourself and to stand and speak with your own voice and love with your own heart, to believe that you have the power to change your world. Rise to proclaim that for too many Americans, the schoolhouse door of opportunity, equality, and freedom remains closed. Rise not just to remember how far we have come, but to commit to the struggle that lies ahead. There may be no more stands in the schoolhouse door, but the underbelly of discrimination still lies like a pall over America. rise to ask each other to stand in the schoolhouse door every day to encourage a child, to comfort a parent, to speak, to walk, and to pray for justice for all in our country in our lifetime. And rise to be better, not bitter. Stand your ground. Reach for a higher star. Stand firm when all others fade away. Be courageous and proclaim a victory of your own. Rise up for yourself and for your dignity so that one day your children and your grandchildren can say that your life had not been lived in vain. Thank you.